Okay, in this tutorial here, we're going to show you how to upload a video to YouTube and and then display it in your website. So, uh, you have a video on your um, uh, computer here. This one's called Test AVI. And what we want to do is click the upload link at YouTube. It's right at the top of the page, and you're going to reach a page like this. All you have to do is take this little uh, icon, drag and drop it, and it starts uploading to YouTube. You want to give it a good name. This is a test. And then give it a description. This is a test for a tutorial. And then you want to tag it with whatever. Um, test, uh, T-U-T-O-R. And then separate them with commas. And then uh, YouTube will, sometimes they'll suggest tags down here. And then you could just add them. You can uh, upload a custom thumbnail like when the video is being displayed what picture do you want the, the people to see so you can upload a custom thumbnail here. Uh, you can also monetize your video um, and so that there will be ads shown on it. Uh, you could go to advanced settings and allow comments or users can vote if you don't want to have those things you can take all those off. Um, and so on and so forth but you could go ahead and look over all this video is uploaded it'll be located at this URL so uh, we'll go on and I'll show you how to embed that into your website so once your video is uploaded you need to know where to find it and you know you could t click that URL that I just showed you or you could go to uh, video manager and in the video manager, you'll see that this is a test. I'm just going to go ahead and delete this because I don't need this video. And I'm just doing it for demonstration purposes. But maybe I'll take this order processing in Zencard. I'm going to go ahead and click on that link there. And uh, I'll go ahead and I'll pause this video. But I'll scroll down here to the, where it says share. And I'm going to grab this embed code right here. Now, <clears throat> whenever this video is on my website, I don't want other videos to be recommended at the end of the video. So I have this unchecked. Make sure that's unchecked. Uh, the website that I'm using has a, an SSL. So I'm going to click, go ahead and use HTTPS. Uh, that's the little lock you see at the top of here when you're on a secure website. Um, you don't want to enable privacy enhance mode if it's going to be a public video. Uh, this is an old embed code. We're not going to use that. We're going to use this code right here. But you'll notice as we click things, you'll see things change. Like the HTTPS, you'll see if I unclick it, it adds that S on the end. Um, if we want to use the old embed code, that's what the old embed code would look like. But uh, we're using the iframe. So that's what we're going to take this. We're going to highlight it. We're going to right click and copy it to our clipboard. Now where we want this video display, we see that there's a couple videos here already is in this video page. So we're going to log into our Zen card and go over to tools down to easy pages and we find the video link. We click on there. We select edit. Now as we look at our CK editor, we can see that there's two iframes in there. Now what we want to do is go up here and click source and we can see that uh, there's the uh, these uh, two videos in here already. Yeah? Now, if we want a little bit more working area, we can expand that down. Now, uh, what we can do is go ahead and put our cursor right before the closing P tag and hit enter. Hit enter a couple times to give it some separation. And then you just click paste. Okay. And then what we'll want to do, we we'll leave the internal link alone and the external link alone, of course, and then click Update. Now, if we go back to our video page, we should see once we refresh that there will be another video down here. And so we re click Refresh, and voila, there's another video down there. If you need to adjust the sizes and you want to make them look like the, 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 the video the same size as the one up above, go back to your Edit page and click source once again now you can see that they're all jumbled together but what you want to look for is this opening iframe tag if you click that a couple times and let's see here's another iframe tag 
we could separate these so that they uh, always uh, go on to the next line by the p tags, the paragraph tags, to uh, to make sure that we give it some separation. So I'm going to go ahead and do that to make things easier to read. And we see here that uh, if we look at this, the width on this video is 560. This one's 560, and we see this is 420. So let's just change that width to 560. And we will go down here and click Update. We'll go back to our video page and refresh it. And then we should see that, yes, OK, we see that it's the same um, width as the other videos. I hope this uh, video has been good and informative for you on how to embed a video into a website. And this works not only with Zencar, but any other websites as well. Thanks. This is Max with A1 Website Pro. If you need any other help, uh, be sure to look me up.